Hi! This is a wave. Um, it is now day three, but I have orientation today in my building for all the new hires. So I don't really think I'll get much done today. So whatever I get done before the meeting starts in about 45 minutes, um, I'll probably just combine with whatever I get done on Friday because I can't come in tomorrow. I have new to district orientation and it's all day long. So I'm going to go start getting ready. But what I want to do is move the tables and chairs the first thing I do when I get in. And then if I have any white poster putty or like sticky tack in my toolbox, I'm going to start hanging up the alphabet poster above the main whiteboard. So I'm going to see if I can get those two things done before the meeting at 930. Wish me luck. end of day video I did not spend much time in this room at all but I did make some changes for example the eyesore that is my laptop cart fits perfectly in here tomorrow I mean Friday these three boxes are going to be relocated to the top shelf and I'll obviously just move those binders out of the way so that the whole top row will just be boxes of books okay moving on I put the two by two here I don't know if I love it here. I really would rather it by the mailboxes underneath the whiteboard, but we're making do with what we've got right now. This is just miscellaneous things I needed off the floor. There are the tables here. I don't love having one all the way out here on the tile, but at the same time, it's really important to me to have a giant work area in front of the whiteboard for the kids to sit at. So I'm gonna take that as more important and they can always walk up to the board. Coming around here, I did flip this larger organizer to be standing up in the two by four direction. Again, I don't really love this here. I would rather the shorter one here, especially since I wanna use this for centers. And so having the display wall here and just having one that goes to that height would be a lot better. Not much has changed over here. I did swap out a large bookcase for a small bookcase, put the, put the book display back out. This is all the same. This is all the same. I still haven't found a key. I haven't asked either, to be fair. And then I did downgrade this to a smaller bookcase. It just felt a little bit more like size appropriate. The other one was just so large. And so the matter, you know, the issue I was having with not using the smaller one was that my PD books didn't fit. So I decided should probably just take all the literacy ones off, granted that I teach math. And so I left two on literacy, but the rest are like morning meeting, teaching English language learners, things like that. So no decor went up, but at least the tables all have chairs now. The tables are in spots. I don't have any homes for my two lamps yet, but it's, it's a work in progress. Hi, it is day four technically, but three and four are gonna be combined just because it is a much longer day today and the other day was very, very short. So today I have trainings while I am moving classroom furniture. So that will be kind of yucky, but at least it's all virtual. But the plan is to finally figure out where all the tables are going. 
I have a plan about moving things on that topmost shelf in the storage closet and I'm going to go from there. Okay, let's go. My principal is coming in. Ah, and I feel weird. Bye. day three four whatever you want to call it and like you can probably just tell from what behind me looks like the room is in so much better shape basically I didn't stop moving I'm trying to think like did I, I my lunch was cheese and salami that was my lunch because I didn't want to stop moving like my lunch box is here still has my lunch in it and no regrets at all so I had training all day long today and it was really boring and I may or may not have muted it sometimes, but I have like half the room designed, like literally like if you think about a rectangle being two L's put together, the long L is done and the short L is done. So now that leaves the two bulletin boards to be designed, math centers, um, and then I'll try to put like a little bit more decor on the shorter part of the L. But big highlights from today, our shapes are up, number like how to create the numbers is up like the tracing pattern is up alphabet is up oh i was able to order new supply caddies today they hopefully will be here by next friday for open house but if not i do have some like really beat up ones that i could use until the nice ones come um let me think a lot of posters are up i printed because i can print from my building to my house like i have um like a wireless printing part of my HP printer. So I printed another pencil challenge, which is what I'm roughly pointing at right now. Um, so I'll have a second one of those ready. I printed like back to school um, business cards, like magnetic cards. I have magnetic paper that you just stick paper onto. So sticky magnet sheet, and you stick the paper on it, cut it, whatever. Um, I put up the calendar today. That was another huge thing. Um, I went through half a roll of painter's tape and like it was a pretty meaty roll to start with. Um, got the cube furniture out that I wasn't going to use. Got some signs up, rules are up. Oh, the library's up and out, oh my gosh. I have to take a video. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and show you all the things. It is, it is so great. Okay, starting outside my room, I have these 90s posters up and every month I have a new set. 
I hung up this sign, morning greeting when they come in. I have to update this, but it's going to be, um, like they move the clip, there's a, a student job on where we are in the building. I'll start with the L that I did complete. So I have all of these shape posters up now. I was sorting out jobs and realized I didn't have enough and some of the old jobs are no longer applicable. I have number posters up and then, I mean, I probably will move these on an outside cabinet, but those are all the people that are important to me. Over here, I hung up class birthdays and I have to fill out little clothes pins. So I have like mine here. And so the clothes pin just goes underneath the balloon. Like I was saying, the pencil challenge, this will be for, you know, let's say my morning class and then the PM will be next to it. I have our flip calendar ready for open house date. My dog Maverick, his bark of the week is that first grade is the best. Pause down, haha. -ha. I move some of the decor over. When is it okay to interrupt me sign? I'm slowly filling this out. Didn't even bother with the key today. It's really whatever. I got the Apple TV to work. So hand signals are up. Our schedule is up. The alphabet is up. I cleaned this up. I left those cushions there because they are seating options technically. And then the rest of the pillows are down there and I put the calm down corner kit with it. Don't mind there's a stool on the table. I didn't stand on it. The calendar is up with our counting of the school days, the weather, the season, all that jazz. The library is here. Um, I have to, you know, do a couple of labels because last year all of my bins were horizontal. And so I have these three here that are vertical with different kinds of chapter books in them. And so I'm going to just reprint four, seven, and 10 to be the shorter label. I don't know how I feel about the pillows up here, but I thought it was like a cute way to display them. But uh, have the book display here. This one's not in use yet, but I think I'm gonna actually put some of the math manipulatives here. I feel like that would be a really good thing to have as hands-on for the kids. The last thing I wanted to do today was move this really tall toolbox that, if you couldn't tell, you know, holds erasers. And I was going to put it on the back counter. And when I took the paper off the back, because I was convinced having paper on the back would protect it from having this happen, I opened it up and it was literally like an explosion of mini erasers. So I'm going to be good and I'm going to leave that mess, even though it irks me, I'm going to leave it for Monday. Should be fine, I don't think anyone's coming in here and if they are, they're vacuuming and I check there's none on the floor. Okay, coming back around though, I did hang up the I'm done choice board and the first month is kind of like a slow start with this so I have the star ones the star ones can be done any time of year and then I double-sided these but the bus is the first month of school and then the candy corn is the second month so I'll leave these up for August and September just to get in the groove of them and then when October comes around or even late September I'll flip them over nothing has changed here other than that I moved the sign up here I thought it'd be nice to see it directly across from the door, but my haunted storage door is blocking my regular door. I didn't finish making the binder clips yet. That's a by first day of school job. It's not necessary. I moved these little signs up here. I guess it is kind of convenient to have it upside down. Um, a bug and a wish is one of our conflict resolutions. And so, I mean, you can read that, but I'm gonna leave that there. I think that's pretty accessible for the kids. And if not, there are stools down there. Speaking of the cube storage, like I said, my teammate took the other piece, the um, one that's twice the size, the four by two. So now I feel a lot better about having math centers here because it's just more kid-friendly sized. I really felt like I was creative in getting these numbers here. Like, obviously this is not like the greatest idea on the planet, but I feel like it's really accessible, it's visible. And even though it does reach door height, zero, one, and two, which would be the hardest ones for them to see, I think those are the ones they probably know how to write the most because when they're practicing numbers, those are the first three that they write. Like the L of my room that hasn't been decorated yet. So this would be like the short side that hasn't really been decorated or put together. And then this is the long side of it that has to go and be put together. I have some decor things left to put up. The stool needs to go back by the sink. I move the tables into different directions. I know it's a little probably hard to tell but like these now face opposite ways. This one's vertical. 
These two are vertical-ish. That one's horizontal now, or it, it stayed horizontal, I should say. And then bringing it back around, uh, my desk in my area. So, ah, it looks so good. I'm so happy. And I have some better than paper, like the last teacher left it in the closet. So I'm going to put it on both bulletin boards and go from there. The woman across the hall took 12 by 12 inch scrapbook paper and she was able to do, I think, four rows of eight. She kept them as the 12 by 12 size on this big bulletin. And I think I wanna do something like that because then there's a nice background behind their work. So I think that'll be really cool. That is the end of day four.